NB News fellas Daryl Morey has already been making moves with the new Sixers G as the new Sixers GM. Excuse me. Yesterday, the team dealt away Al Horford, saving the team millions in payroll and luxury tax and a deal with the Thunder that includes Danny Green. The Sixers also got Seth Curry from the Mavs. Now, James Harden's future on Morey's former team is still unknown after turning down a record-setting deal with the Rockets in pursuit of a deal with the Brooklyn Nets. Stephen A., the Sixers moves lead me to this question. Where should Harden want to play? Is it Brooklyn now or Philly? Listen, that's a great question because Daryl Morey's doing it up right there in Philadelphia. Deserves a lot of credit, but I'm going to go with Brooklyn. I'm going to go with Brooklyn because I want to see James Harden in a situation where he's the hunted. You know, it's one thing, Max, to have expectations where, okay, you know what? We know the Warriors are better, but you got CP3. You got your team. This is y'all shot. Go for it. Even though they're the better team, this is y'all shot. It's another thing entirely where you walk into a LeBron James, D-Way, Chris Bosh kind of situation where with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, everybody's looking at you, and the expectation is – the chip or bust? The chip or bust? Because regardless of what we want to say, regardless of the 27 straight missed free throw or missed threes by the Houston Rockets a couple of years ago in the Western Conference Finals Game 7 and the fact that James Harden wasn't hitting his threes that game, et cetera, et cetera, that's one thing, but you still lost to a superior team. You had Clay, you had Steph, you had KD. They were still the superior team. You join KD and Kyrie in Brooklyn, you are officially the hunted, especially in the Eastern Conference. I haven't seen James Harden in that kind of situation. And as good as the Sixers situation is with him and Embiid, if he were to go there, along with Seth Curry, who's a Curry. That means he can shoot the damn ball, okay? And you got Terrence Ferguson there now and Danny Green there now, stuff like that. It ain't the same as Brooklyn with KD and Kyrie. I, would I wouldn't mind seeing them in Philadelphia because that definitely would elevate their championship expectations, but I would prefer to see him in Brooklyn. I would love that big three situation just to see how they all respond to that. Uh, I'd rather see him in Philly. Look, I understand the appeal of Brooklyn, and I don't even think it's just that it's the hunted one. The appeal of Brooklyn is if you win a championship in Brooklyn, USA, woof, woof, you got no idea. People it's a bit just different. don't know Brooklyn rings bells all around the world, and they've been thirsty for a championship in a major sport for 65 years. And New York's been thirsty for a championship at an NBA level. Uh, in, in almost 50 years. And at any basketball level in the pros, if you include the, N, the, the ABA in 45 years, it would be amazing. But here's why I prefer Philadelphia. First of all, Daryl Morey. Like it's, it's one thing. You can talk about the process all you want. The process built up reserves, right? It built up draft picks and a lot of value, a lot of assets on the franchise. They never, let, they never really saw it through. They brought in Colangelo. He took that kind of potential energy, and he turned it into a subpar situation compared to what it could have been. And that process continued. Daryl Morey comes in and now has to clean up other people's messes. And what does he do first thing? Gets out from under a bad contract, really doesn't give up much draft capital in exchange, and gets back two shooters. One of them is absolutely lights out in Seth Curry, and the other one's a legit 3 and D guy. I know he's coming off a bad season, but a legit three and D guy who can play 25 minutes a game and has shown he can be a big part of a championship piece in Danny Green, right? He's shown it multiple times now. So that's an amazing job Daryl Morey's done, and it's the reason Harden should pick Philadelphia. Stephen A., he'd have a real chance to win a championship, and if he did it there, he'd have proved something. See, if you go to Brooklyn and you pick team up with KD and Kyrie and you win, so what? So what? Yeah, if you have two MVPs and another all-star plus on a team, you win. Like, when Shaq and Kobe got together, imagine if they also had Ray Allen. Why play the season, right? They won. They three-peated as it was. Now add Ray Allen to the – why – you have two MVPs and an all-star plus? The, the reason KD going to Golden State was so like, oh, come on, KD, you're better than that, is because he and Steph are both all-stars, and, and Clay is an all-star plus, and Dre was an all-star. They couldn't lose. 
the reason people didn't even like it when LeBron formed the super team in Miami is because at the time, Dwayne Wade was playing at MVP caliber level. So now you got LeBron and Dwayne, two MVPs, and you got Bosh, another all-star plus. It's like, come you're trying to stack the deck too much. I would have hated to see Kawhi go to the Lakers, Stephen A., because if Kawhi would have went to the Lakers in the preseason, what we, would, we all would have said, why even bother watching? No one's going to beat that team. So even if Harden, KD, and Kyrie's not quite that because KD's coming off an injury and Kyrie has chemistry issues and they're both ball stoppers, Kyrie and Harden, and so people will say, what, it's still two MVPs and an all-star plus. It doesn't prove the same thing as if he goes to Philadelphia where Simmons and Embiid couldn't get it done, where Daryl Morey's going to get him the right complimentary pieces. So if he wins, he will have proved something. A championship is supposed to prove I'm not just an MVP in the regular season. I'm an all-time great when you need it most. Harden needs that, I think, more than others, and I'd love to see him do it in Philly. I think you're wrong, and I think you're wrong on several fronts. Number one, you made the point about winning a championship and bringing one to Brooklyn is something special. So let's understand that even though it would mean the world to Philadelphia, who hasn't won an NBA championship since 1983, the reality of the situation is as significant as that would be, and I worked in Philadelphia for 17 years, so I would know. The bottom line is Brooklyn is a different animal. Gotham City is a different animal. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.